Hello and welcome to ESL Advice English Lesson. In today's video, we will learn how to describe someone's appearance in English. To get regular English lessons, exercises and quizzes, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified. Now, let's move to the lesson. Talking about someone's appearance in general with words like beautiful, handsome, cute, or elegant is the common way of describing someone's outlook as a whole. Besides, you can talk about their dress as well as their overall build, height, complexion, age, face, eyes, nose, hands, mouth, teeth, lips, ears, hair, facial hair, body language, etc. How to describe someone's general appearance? To talk about someone's general appearance, you should talk about their gender first. There are some adjectives that you can use for both males and females to talk about their outer beauty as a whole. However, some gender-specific adjectives are also used to describe someone's appearance. Examples The girl was good-looking. She is pretty. The man seems funny. She looks gorgeous. The boy was very handsome. Talking about dresses to describe someone's appearance. While describing someone's appearance, talking about their dresses can help identify their fashion sense and cultural identity. In many cases, dresses can represent someone's attitude and overall psychological state. To talk about dresses, we usually start with the type of dress the person is wearing. From the type of dress, we sometimes can understand whether the person is in a formal or informal setting. Besides the type of someone's clothes, we can also talk about other specific features of their dress, such as color, pattern, material, etc. Describing build to talk about someone's appearance. While describing someone's appearance, talking about their overall build can help. You may mention whether the person is slim, muscular, or stocky. Don't say anything that sounds offensive. Politeness is the key quality of a good speaker during a conversation. Your choice of words is crucial to sound polite. You should not directly say that someone is fat. Examples The boy was skinny. The boy was slim. The man was fat. The man was on the heavier side. Note, avoid saying anything that may sound offensive. How to talk about someone's height. Height is one of the very common features of someone's outer look. You can easily describe someone's appearance just by saying whether she or he is tall, short, or of medium height. There are a limited number of adjectives that you can use to talk about someone's height. Examples. The candidate was very short but stout. He is of average height. He is very tall and muscular. Talking about someone's complexion. The complexion is the color of someone's skin. To describe someone's physical appearance, you talk about their skin tone. But remember, don't say anything that may promote racism and sound offensive or humiliating. The purpose of talking about someone's complexion has to be only to describe their appearance, not to talk about their racial identity. Examples. He was dark and handsome. She was tanned with long black hair. The man I met was middle-aged white. Describing someone's age. Identifying someone's age while describing someone's appearance can help get an overall idea about the person. You can simply mention whether the person is young, middle-aged, or elderly. All right. To many people, age is just a number, nothing more than that. In many cultures, asking about someone's age may sound offensive, especially the age of women. Examples The passenger sitting beside me is an elderly person. The shopkeeper was a middle-aged woman. He sent a young boy to receive the parcel. All the players on the team were teenagers. How to describe facial features While describing someone's appearance, the face appears to be the most important part of one's body. Face can be of different types. In many cases, due to geographical variation, we notice variations in face patterns. Besides the overall face type, 
We can also talk about different parts of someone's face while describing someone's appearance. Here are some face types that you may mention while talking about someone's appearance. Talking about someone's hair. There are different features of hair that you can talk about while describing someone's hair. You can talk about hair types, colors, styles, lengths, and conditions to describe someone's hair precisely. Remember, while describing someone's hair, you must follow the order of adjectives. Length comes first, and then shape and color. Examples She is a blonde. As far as I can remember, she was a brunette. The lady is a redhead. The man I met was completely bald. Here is a table that shows descriptions of hair from different aspects. How to describe facial hair. Besides having hair on their heads, men usually have hair on their faces, which is called facial hair. There can be two kinds of facial hair, beard and moustache. Beard covers the chin and cheeks, and the moustache covers the space between the nostril and the upper lips. Beards and moustaches can be of different types and styles. Now look at the table, the table shows different types of beards and moustaches. That's all about the ways of describing someone's appearance in English. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. If you still have any questions about today's topic, ask me in the comment box. You can also let me know on what topic you want me to make video lessons for you. For more lectures, visit www.eseladvice.com.